So we have this uh, P, P manager as the password. My default username is root, and then uh, the this is the username to your your PHP my admin. So I want to open my PHP my admin right now. Make sure that your WAM server is running, and uh, this is my WAM server, and I will click on PHP my admin. Then I'll wait. It will pull up my browser and open up PHP my admin in my default browser. So I don't know why we are on Edge. Let me open it with um, with Google Chrome. To open it in Chrome, just open a new tab and uh, localhost slash php my admin. Hit enter. That is how to open it in, in Chrome. And when it opens, we will have to log in uh, using our default username and password. So if you just installed your WAM server, or if you don't know your WAM server password, your password is empty. You leave it like this. So uh, your username will be root, then your password is empty. But me, I have a password, so I'll enter it when you're not looking after leaving this page, all right? And then the rest of the configurations are not really necessary right now. Cache driver, session file, it, these are pretty much advanced that we can use later if you want to configure your email and a whole lot of things. You can also create your own custom keys here, all right? So as you can see, this is my PHP, my admin that's opened. And um, like I told you, I put a password in mind. But if you install this freshly, there will be no password, all right? So when you hit go, it will open your databases. Then we can create this database that we just wrote here. We wrote a database called pmanager. We can then create it in our system. So um, it's opening right now. So right now, this is open now. So hit on databases, click on databases. When it opens, we now create a database that we want to call. This is where you create a database, pmanager. You don't touch this settings. You just click create. It creates the database, pmanager, and it's asking us to create tables. But in Laravel, you don't just create tables from here. You have to create a migration. Uh, you can create tables directly, but if you want this pro your pro people to be able to work with your project, you have to create a migration tool, all right? And then from the migration, it will generate the tables, which we'll do uh, later on. So, but for now, creating the database is just enough for us. Now, what we're going to do is try and run our Laravel app because we've done all the settings. We are good to go in running our Laravel app. All right. So, what I'll do is come to the command line. Make sure that you're inside this folder. So, to run your Laravel app, you start up the server and, and run PHP Artisan Serve. Hit enter. Then you wait. This is going to spin up a server. As you can see, it has spun up a server for us. And the server name, server address is uh, 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. Or you can just type localhost colon 8000, all right? So if I open my browser and, and visit that URL, we should see our new Laravel application running. So I'll paste. Oops. So I'll just paste it and um, hit enter and there we have it our brand new Laravel application is ready with um, basic links all right so what we'll do is to um, continue in the next video tutorial to create our first user sign up login and sign up uh, features because in Laravel you can actually create this with just one command all right now, the, the secret to building your Laravel app is that your server needs to be constantly on, which means if your server is on, you should be uh, while you're developing your app. So we will need to spin up a new uh, command prompt while we leave this one on because this one is the one powering our server. All right. So to do that, we just open our folder. And when we open our folder, we right click an empty space. We'll hold the shift key, right click in the empty space and run this all right so from here we'll be running the rest of the commands we need so see you in the next video where we'll create a user sign up and registration system with laravel 5.5